December 18th, 2014, and on this day, we are shipping to UCLA in California the archive of our grandparents, Willard and Barbara Morgan. And together, for five years, we worked on organizing and finding an institution for the archive. Okay, we're waiting for the big FedEx direct service truck. Here we have go. Janet's the lead driver, oh, there it is. and they're going to go 24 hours a day there leaving. They're going to be in UCLA on what? Monday morning, there sleeping and around. driving the whole way. Turn around. And we are pumped. Barbara Morgan was most famous for the photographs that she took of Martha Graham and numerous other dancers, such as Doris Humphrey, Pearl Primus, Eric Hawkins, and so on. It was right during the beginning of modern dance and her iconic images really took modern dance itself into a whole new level. I think it was her painting background that uh, made a huge difference in how she was able to turn photography into an art form. This was also the time when they went out into the Southwest every single summer for many years. And while out there, Willard Morgan took the Leica camera and he would climb up into these cliff dwellings and other places where you couldn't take the large cameras. And he could show that you could take a small 35 millimeter camera into places that you would never be able to go and take pictures with any other equipment. E. Lights gave him a, a job offer with a letter, which they quickly accepted to travel to New York and for Willard to help promote that format and basically become its main cheerleader, really showing how it can be used and promoting this whole new format that really wasn't being taken seriously. And he quickly grew it dramatically. And then Barbara had her own art studio nearby in the city and for photography as well as painting and wood blocks. And in 1935, she met Martha Graham and that started her long relationship with her as well as photographing modern dance from 1935 through 44, I believe. And so the, the importance of mythology, you know, which Barbara Morgan really got very immersed in when, during those initial years in the Southwest. And she took that through her photography of Martha Graham and noticed, you know, that Martha Graham was inspired by these same themes as well. See some more of these very energetic and colorful watercolors. And here's some of the earlier wood blocks uh, that she did in California. And this is after their Southwest travels and her incredible appreciation of the Native Americans. And as we really began to research the the archive and learn more about the UCLA years, the Southern California piece, the Neutra piece, and um, Willard's incredible ability to just zero in on what was new and important, and which was whatever was going to broadcast deep into the future. It was through 35 millimeter photography, steel houses, the impact of the car on architecture, mm -hmm. um, and all of this in this world of Southern California modernism. I think we all feel that that's really going home, um, that that's where we wanted it to go from the beginning, because I think we know that's where Grandma would want it to go, um, Barbara and Willard, so that feels spiritually, artistically, creatively, intellectually, you know, absolutely right. It makes more sense now, probably more than ever the last five or six years, because a lot more of what we've been learning ourselves and reading and being part of is much more focused on that whole Los Angeles area. Now, really, the origins and early time is certainly becoming more important about how it affected everything else, so it makes a lot of sense. We're happy. Yeah.